What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Steve's Project Car Garage. My name is Steve. Today we're picking up where we left off on the Triumph Spitfire. In the last video, you watched me rebuild the differential. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and jump onto the axles and uh, these guys. So stick around. It'll be a good video. All right, so what we have here are the... Uh, Output shafts, not the output shafts, I guess these are the axles um, that uh, will go into the differential. And so I'm going to be doing a couple of things with them. Nothing crazy though. Uh, I am going to go ahead and wire wheel these um, with my bench grinder to get them cleaned up. But then um, I got replacement uh, U joints. And not that these U joints are bad, but I've got them out and I figure while they're out, I may as well go ahead and replace them. So um, we're gonna knock those out and we're also gonna get this cleaned up. I'm not gonna try to remove the yoke. I don't see any point in removing it. Um, so we'll just clean it up a little bit. And then on over to these, these are the, uh, the bearing carriers. And so inside of here, we've got our regular ball bearing. We're gonna replace that. And then we also have a set of needle bearings that are in here. So we're gonna get those replaced. And once we have that all done, then we're going to go ahead and uh, pretty much get ready to start reassembly of the rear end. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and get cracking. Got that first one done and looks pretty decent. Pretty happy with the result. And you can actually see the machining lines from when they machined this originally, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I'm gonna get that kind of result out of this one. It's got a lot of schmutz on there, but uh, we shall see. Um, I did also want to just check wear marks here, and these two wear marks appear to be from the uh, the greased flinger caps. I think is what they're called. Um, so I'm not worried about those grooves or up here. The bearings all sit pretty much from here in, and this is all nice and smooth, so it's good news. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this guy, and we'll go. All forward. right, so it's been a few days, um, and uh, I had to make a trip uh, to Boston, unfortunately, very last minute. And so before I left, though, uh, I went ahead and uh, finished hitting these guys with the wire wheel, and they came out pretty good. Like I said, this one was a little bit rougher than this one, but it's fine. Um, and what I did though is I took a mixture that I made, which is 50-50 um, ATF and um, acetone, which I've heard supposedly is like the best formula for breaking stuff loose. And so I soaked these guys on um, both sides uh, for the last two days with it. Well, soaked by, I just went ahead and I put some in, let it do its thing. So fingers crossed, this is not gonna be a horrible job, but uh, we have a 20 ton press. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try to release these and see if we can remove these clips. And then if we can remove the clips, see if we can actually get these U-joints out. So uh, wish me luck, let's see what uh, we can make happen. relatively easily. Thank you. 
That might need a little more time. give that a little more time to soak. In the meantime, let's go ahead and play with this other one. All right, so as you can see, I actually got this apart already. Um, I still need to get this cap out, uh, but anyways, uh, this is all pretty much good to go. I'm gonna show you how I did it though in just a moment, but it ended up involving a couple of sockets and a 20 ton press. Let me get you set up and I'll show you what we did. All right, so this is yet another job where I'm so thankful that I bought this press. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this really large socket, I'm gonna just rest it on the bottom here like this. And then we're gonna take a smaller socket and we're gonna position it like so. Get my hands out of there. Now we're just going to push this puppy out. There we go. It actually looks like it even broke some, so that's fun. I wasn't anticipating on that breaking, so that does kind of change things a little bit. like those guys are in there pretty good. Oh wow, so that one broke too. That's interesting. All right, so now that we got those out, we're gonna move on to the other side. Let's see if we can twist this off. All right, twisted that cap off nicely. Let's uh, drive this guy home and finish it up. So the bearing cap on there shattered again. I um, guess we just uh, do like we did with the other one and just try to back it out and then take it out a different way. 
All right, so as always, through the magic of television, I like to go ahead and do stuff before I go ahead and record it, so that way I can show you how I did it the right way. So uh, we got this one done. Let me show you how I went ahead and put this together. So I took the other end and I just put this through the wire wheel, same over here, just to get it nice and clean. And now uh, we have these U-joints that I got from Rimmer Brothers. And uh, these are the non-greasable kind. I'm sure someone in the comments is probably gonna yell at me for that. If so, go for it. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by putting on the side and the axle and then we'll do the other portion. So what I did is first actually, I'm gonna clean out the groove in which the uh, circlips sit. So that way, I know those are not boogered up with all kinds of schmutz. Okay, and that one seems all right. Let's get this side here too. Not a lot of schmutz that came out, but it's enough that will prevent these circ clips from sitting and seating correctly. So, all right, on to the new uh, U-joint. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. You can see that the needle bearings are in there nicely. Same with this. We're gonna go ahead and just kind of slide that on in. I'm gonna start by just setting this on here to get the needle bearing set and to get it kind of in there. And then same with the other side. All right, so now I'm gonna just use my little hammer here. I'm just gonna try to straighten that out. See if I can slowly work it on in. Okay, we'll flip this over and we're gonna do the opposite over here. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. bring this on over to the press and we're gonna just drive these home real quick just because I got it so be right back all right so I got one pretty much drove home so what I'm gonna do now is put in some circ clips and then we'll go drive the other one home just to make sure that it's even in there good and we're going to drive this one home just a little bit more so we can get that circ clip on there Something wasn't right. 